Hey people, good evening, good evening, um, good morning, depending where you are. So, um, I was going to make a video today about me getting my beads, and I will still do that. I got them, they're here. But I had two very disappointing interactions over the last couple of days. So, people at work say I look tired, I should take a vacation. So I say, yeah, I'm going on vacation in November. I'm going to Africa. And then this lady that was sitting in the room, and they're all Jamaicans, we're all Jamaicans. So, why you got Africa in afraid them kill you? So, I look at her and I say, What do you mean, afraid them killed me? I don't understand. She said, Yes, man, them kidnap people and they don't like us black people from this side of the world. You know? I'm like, Have you ever been to Africa? Who tell you that? She said, Everybody know that. And it was so sad. It was so sad to hear this coming from an elderly person, somebody that I thought would be more in touch with their roots. But she's not the only one. Today, um, I said to another co-worker, I said, oh, look, I got my titles. I'm ready to go. And she goes, you're joking. I go, no, man, I'm serious. I'm going. I'm going to Kenya. I'm going to go on vacation in Kenya. I'm looking to build a house in Kenya. Kenya going to be like my second home. And she goes, why would you do that? And I said, I don't understand. She goes, but you don't know anybody there. So I said to her, when my firm family first came to Canada, nobody, we didn't know anybody here. Somebody have to take a plunge and go and then you, you establish yourself and then the other family members come. So I said, I'm me going to me going to Kenya. I'm going to be the first in my family, but I've already organized other people to come. So that's the way, you know, we're kind of building a bridge. We're going back to the motherland. And she goes, I just don't understand. Why would you want to leave a place like this to go to Africa? And I'm telling you guys, we have a hell of a struggle a hell of a struggle ahead of us because it is so ingrained in us not to like where we come from not to like it and it, it makes me sad it makes me sad but i go in i'm gonna post up my picture of them um i'm going to advertise and publicize as much as i can i've already convinced four people to go with me so when them go, hopefully if them can even convince one more person and that person convince another person, and we go from there. That's all we can do, you know. So yeah, so it it it's, it was sad to hear, especially. Anyways, thank you for listening. Share, comment, subscribe. I definitely love to hear the comments though because I. I don't, I do understand why they have that sentiment because I can see it in the marketing and I can see it in how we're portrayed in the media. I can, I can see it, but these people have sense. Do some research. You know, the most gunshots I've ever heard in my entire life was here in Toronto at um, Eglinton and Martin Grove. I mean, I come from Waterhouse, Jamaica, where very colorful experience, shot a lick. We never hear so much gunshot like I heard in Canada here. I lived in Waterhouse till I was 23. My house never got broken into. Never. I come to Canada, my house got broken into. So nowhere is perfect. But we need to stop perpetuating the, the, the stereotype of Africa. And a lot of our Caribbean islands too. Get, we'll get a bad rap. And people will hesitate to go to Africa. They'll hesitate to go to the Caribbean. But they'll fly to Europe. They'll fly to America. Fly to Canada. They'll fly to any of these countries and not think twice. A country like America where a man can walk in a school and kill a bunch of picnic. Like, I am afraid to go to America as a black man. Let me stop using the word black. As an African, I'm afraid to go to, um, to America. Afraid. I mean, if a police are going to pull me over and that's where it's going to end. But these people will go to all these other Eurocentric countries and feel safe and don't feel safe amongst their own people. Anyways, I don't know what that's about us, but still a lot of work to do.